Hey everyone, um, Isaiah was just going to talk through using trade tips, and I thought this is right. probably a good thing to share. Uh, right. Uh, so this has to do with how we interact with um, the user. So how your program interacts with the user. So whenever you have a program, there are some times that you need your user to either be notified of something um, or to tell them that they have to do an action or just in general, giving it some time, some type of information. So in AutoHotKey, we usually use a message box to do stuff. Message boxes should be used very uh, in very specific cases in which the user has to perform an action or what you're telling them is critical because message boxes stop the full script and it doesn't continue until they see it okay or cancel or whatever. So message boxes, you have to use them very carefully. The other way to notify them of stuff is to use the tooltip. This is very common as well. Tooltips are unobstructive. They go, they're very tiny little notifications right next to the mouse. Um, that is, how do I say? The name itself tells you what they are for. It is a tip for a tool in your window. So when you hover over the run command, you put a little tooltip saying, this button is for doing this or that. That's what they're supposed to be for. We use it for many other things, but usually the intended use is to give you small tips about something that you are about to click. There are others like balloon tips. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you have seen those. Um, I don't know if Auto Hotkey, I think it has a command to give you that, but those are for edit boxes or information about a control and some other things. Fine. But the last one that I want to talk about is tray tips. The tray tip, which is the one that you were using, it's a notification that shows up. It is a Windows notification. It's very cool because it's not obstructive. It is out of the way. Problem with it is that if you have notifications off or if you have do not disturb or whatever, that notification is not going to show up. You cannot use this for... This is just information only. It is like when the script started, when something finished downloading, it is like, hey, something happened that you should be notified about, but there you, you don't require we don't require any action from you. That's basically what it is. The problem is if in this is the reason why we started talking about this. I saw in certain type of code a tray tip inside a loop. And this is really <laughs> a problem because that would create a lot of notifications. Like it, it will notify the user many times. It would create many banners. I don't think the operating system allows you to do that anyways. It just ignores. <laughs> so if you send a lot of notifications one after the other, it just ignores them. Just know what they are for. Most of the times you want to know what the things are for. And if you're debugging code, we usually exploit the tooltip, the message box, when we really should be using output debug or logging into a file. That's what we should be doing because that is nothing to do the output debug command or file append into a file. Those are things that we do as developers that the users shouldn't see. That's the main point about them. The users should never see those in your script because those are things that they will not understand. It's going to confuse them at all and so on. The ones for the user are these three, but you have to know how to use them independently. One is for actually critical stuff that the user has to stop, read, and then click a button before your, your script must continue. So use them very... <laughs> carefully that that's not to be every second step having a pop-up showing hey oh this button does this and i'm like oh i have to click twice just to see that no just use a tooltip or use something else that is not obstructive and again tooltips are supposedly for tool information so just hover the mouse it gives you information actually our prompt assistant does that so if i oh, 
sorry, if I do this, um, when I hover over certain ones, for example, these arrows, they're well known for what they do, but just in case, I just put a tube saying, hey, move the selected item up. That's what the tooltip is for, okay? Because you might not understand what this icon is for. And I just want to let you know, okay, just be careful with it because this one deletes the selected item just in case it was not clear enough. But use the tooltips for this type of things um, most of the times. Of course, you can use it for whatever you want, but that's what they're supposedly for. Trade tips, notifications that people don't. I, I can't believe you didn't mention our notification function. <laughs> no, so, so basically I, I was just referring to the built-in function, well, but then we did I, that for... Yeah, yeah, what I was going to say was it, what you're bringing up um, also brings up a good point of why we haven't released our notification class yet, because... It's we're doing a lot. We're doing different things with it, right? We're trying to add yeah, functionality yeah. where yeah. it can kind of act like a message box. It kind of act like the other set. You know, you can interact with it or not. And it's you know, we're it's not a simple choose one or the other. We're trying to have one that allows us the flexibility yeah. to to do different things. So basically, we are trying to modify the trade tip to not be ignored by the operating system because the notify function which is it, it shows like this, like that. When we use that, it doesn't care if the notifications are on or off, they will show up on the right side again. So they're gonna, and you have control of how they're gonna look, like the background, the text right. and so on, the size. So we have a lot of control. We don't have this issue that the tray tip has. If the tray tip was a notification that couldn't be ignored, I would use it more often because if I want to notify of something, I want you to see it, but if the tooltips, if the notifications are off, you're not going to see it. You're going to miss the notification. So this one is cool. But also, as you mentioned, we want to make it work kind of like a message box in the right. sense of right. it's going to show the little thing and it's going to stop the script until you click on it, for example. That is something that it works similarly to the message box. But again, unobstructive. It is in a, in a, in a corner. It's not in front of your screen. Stop uh, kind of like... Well, uh, and they don't look like something that was built in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So it is a very cool um, library. We can, uh, at some point, we're going to make a video showing yeah, all. It's getting it close. Move. Yeah. But it's getting close. I, I just wanted to mention the different things that we use these different notifications for and to be careful whenever we use them. So this is the kind of topic we cover, like in the hero groups. We'll probably cover it this week. So uh, consider signing up because we share lots of great little tips like this uh, in our, we have three hours every week where we talk with the, the hero members and share stuff. Check it out. Cheers. Bye.